Hello and welcome. My name is Mark. This is Riffle Shuffle and Roll. And today we're going to be taking a look at a little dexterity game called Fooskitball. If it's your first time visiting the channel, be sure to hit subscribe and the bell so you're notified about new games every week. Fooskitball is a dexterity game for two players in which players are trying to be the first to score five points by shooting little plastic balls into little plastic hoops. It is a combination of tabletop foosball and hot shots basketball. Sounds great, let's see if it works. All right, let's open up Fooskaball and you will see that everything is nicely flat packed. Now this is the first time opening the box, so I have not yet put this bit together, but you can see this is how everything's gonna be stored. Now in regards to storage, Hasbro does a really nice job putting everything you need to know right on the underside of the lid. So they have the contents laid out, the directions for putting the unit together, and how to store it. So you see the layers and how it should look from the top view. I think that's pretty slick. player will sit behind one of the rims and they will start the game with five balls behind their gate. It does not matter which player starts with the golden ball. To begin the game, both players will count down three, two, one, and then they will pull back on their gates. Doing so has all the balls roll out onto the court and the game can begin. Players are simply trying to score baskets Orange balls are worth one point and the golden ball is worth two. You are allowed to steal a ball from an opponent. You can knock it out of their hand and you can block their shot by shooting a ball of your own at the same time. First player to five points wins the game. With all that said, let's dive into an example game against Christina. Three. One, two, three. You make that? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Blocked. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, I didn't even have a ball. <laughs> <laughs> Golden ball. Two to nothing. Yes! Oh, come on. You dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, no. Three to two. Okay. This is the final countdown. There are <laughs> We're gonna have to take a time out to get the balls. Yes! That's a legal move. Oh, I didn't mean to yell into the mic. <sighs> <laughs> How 
How far? Oh, man. So I just bring the ball in? Yeah, go ahead and throw it back in. <laughs> Not fancy. Oh. Nah. Yes, that's four. I only need one more. What are you trying to do with that thing? <laughs> <sighs> Game point. Oh. Dang it. Oh. <laughs> no! That's the game. All right, well, that is all there is to know about Fooskiball. This is a dexterity game through and through. And at first, I did not like how difficult it was to actually make the ball into the hoop. But it only took about 10 minutes of playing to get pretty consistent. I'd say the biggest downside to this game is the fact that you have to keep your head behind the backboard. And it is pretty easy for the ball to be flung directly over the backboard. And if you lower your eye line down to be looking through the backboard, which is what they intend, you can't see what you're doing. And then when you get close enough to the backboard to see what you're doing, you still get the impact of the ball when it hits. Kind of a cool idea, but the actual implementation of that idea doesn't work out quite as well. If you would like a tabletop foosball experience, I would recommend getting a tabletop foosball table as opposed to this foosball. They are not that expensive. They can fit on top of a kitchen table and it will, I think, scratch the same itch as this. And I think you, you might enjoy it more. Well, that is all I have for foosball. Check the description down below for a link to riffleshuffleandroll.com and my friends at gamewolves.com. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep on playing.